In this video, I'm going to talk about all the stuff I use every day from the garbage. This is a TV. Someone just threw it out. It works perfectly. It's been working for three years. I use it every day and it's amazing. Wet, dry vacuum from the garbage. Only needed a good clean. Electric motors from the garbage. These are vacuum motors, high powered vacuums. This is a garage door motor that works really great for low speed stuff. Then we have some computer fans. We have some heat sinks with heat pipes, heat sinks, heat pipes, even some liquid cooling stuff with a radiator. I'm hoping I can get people excited about recycling because for me to get something for free and to keep it out of the landfills to help the planet, I think that's really important. It gets me really excited thinking about all the things that I have that were going to be in the garbage. And that's one of the reasons I paint them green. Also, if I have students or I'm at a maker space, painting everything green shows everybody that we're using things that we're going to be in a landfill and we're really helping the planet. Next, we have this radio. This is a perfectly good radio. I use it all the time. So what I've done here is I've just attach something else from the garbage, just like a phone charger. And I just put the wires right in where the battery would go. So I just took off that cover. It's just some hot glue there and a hole going through this cover. And there I just wired the plus and minus to where the batteries would go. So this radio thinks there's batteries in there and it just works perfectly. Vacuum, perfect. Just put new batteries in, works amazing. I even attach this voltmeter. So you have a switch. And if you flick that switch, you get the voltage for the battery. Just remove the cover, battery cover, and there's two HG2 cells, 18650s that I just hot glued in there. Little cardboard to hold my vacuum in place. Woo! Next, we have one of these 17 or 19 inch screens. These are great. What I do is I just attach, that's a Raspberry Pi in a 3D printed case. And then you have a little Raspberry Pi computer, great for bringing to schools and stuff. Here, keyboard, also from the garbage. Built this shelf for some things I 3D printed with this cool cardboard you get in Ikea boxes. Power supplies, so many power supplies in the garbage. Lots of 17 volts, uh, laptop power supplies, lots of phone, five volt, two amp power supplies. These things are so useful. I use this for everything. It was too dark in my house, so nightlight, LED, soldered to this power supply found the garbage for a phone and you're done. I have about three of these in my house. They work great. Gears from a 2D printer. Motors and more gears from 2D printers. Wires, wires and more wires from things I took apart from the garbage. Thick wires from a construction site that people threw in the garbage. I use these ice cream containers for all my projects. They're everywhere. They're here, they're there. There's some big ones over here. So when I eat ice cream and I have a plastic container, I don't throw in the garbage. I use it to store my stuff. This is a treadmill motor from the garbage. I've been wanting to get one of these forever and I finally got one a few days ago. These are great as generators. I hooked it up to this bike, also from the garbage. Just a very, very old pedal bike. And I was actually able to generate quite a bit of power just running this off the pedal bike. Laptop batteries from the garbage have lots of these really cool cells inside. You test them, and then you can use them in a lot of projects. Glass from scanner copiers, great for 3D print beds. This drill I've been using for three years every day. So these are the old drills, they usually have like nickel cadmium batteries. I threw those in the recycling, and then I put in some of these batteries. These are 18650 cells that I got from used laptop batteries. I even have a little screen that tells me the voltage. I like putting these in my project so I can always check the voltage. In the garbage, you can find so many drills with bad batteries, and it's great to give them new batteries and bring them back to life. Cables from the garbage, all these different electricity cables, monitor cables, all from the garbage. Cardboard, I almost never throw out cardboard. When I get Ikea furniture, I love cutting the cardboard into small panels and saving them for projects. With hot glue and cardboard, you can prototype so many things. Chop saw from the garbage that I don't wanna pull out of storage. Computer power supplies. These are super useful, especially for charging batteries because they usually have like five volts and 20 or 30 amps. Big motor from washing machine with V-belt and V-belt pulley. Huge springs from washing machine. RC airplane made from cardboard from the garbage. 3D printers made from plywood from the garbage. 
really mini fridge to cool one can of pop from the garbage, from the garbage, from the garbage, from the garbage, and from the garbage. I use these tinfoil cardboard rolls a lot. Here I have all my shrink tubing for electrical projects. I made all these rolls, which is cardboard, and I have that tinfoil tube in the middle. And this is just a rod that I got from a clothes drying rack that I threw in the garbage. It's a little messy, but here's the same thing with a tinfoil tube. And then these are all for organizing my wires.